I've been using this KNF BA225 travel tripod for the last month or so now, so I thought it was time to give you my thoughts on this little thing and soak up a bit of much needed sunlight in the process, which to be honest is getting in the way of <laughs> this video recording a little bit. Firstly, let's talk about the carry case. It's well designed when it comes to the size and you know the compact nature of it. I'm not a fan of the Manfrotto style sort of color choices. That sort of design option isn't for me. I prefer something more discreet. The strap doesn't go particularly long, but you know, long enough to get it over your shoulder and still have a bit of play there you can't get it right over unless you're particularly small but you know let's get the thing out while i've got it in this awkward position the tripod itself which we'll look at in just a moment and the actual case let's <laughs> take it off now the tripod does fit in it fairly tightly but it has a nice little pocket which adds a bit of value to it where i've put the included hex keys which tend to go missing when i most need them now i found with this tripod i needed it immediately to tighten up a little nut inside the ball head but you know that's what they're there for oftentimes i find with the knf tripods the one of the legs will sort of loosen up over time so you just give it a little tweak with the hex keys that's why they're included so yeah first things first then the case decent fits well not necessarily a fan of the actual design itself and bizarrely it came with a rather odd smell so i wonder what they've coated it with but it seems to be another little winner though i'll be using one of my other knf concept bags instead of this one as you know it's quite orange we're getting a 35 centimeter compact one kilogram tripod there now it has a stated height and i'm going to put it to that height now or that height using these little locking buttons here to pop it in place they can easily be operated and adjusted in three different spots you see that so i'm going to put it at the highest what well, will work out the highest then we've got these four locking pieces there and i find that they're very handy well that's not ideal well, let us know if that's happened to you with yours or have i just been a little bit too tough with it let's carry on anyway so i was going to say that having four of these gives you a bit more stability at each point time will tell how we go <laughs> how that goes i do have a little bit of beef with the feet which i'll mention later making sure i don't pull it out too much we've got a nice little bit of padding there so that's the full extension there we've got the little hook under there which is very handy this thing is giving you apparently eight kilos of load capacity with the included ball head that has an arca swiss type plate that comes with it as well as the mount fittings i've got it attached to a camera at the moment you've got a spirit level you've got meters on there you've got a little dial for panning so you can mark out your panning as you go along and you've got a little one for adjusting the ball head itself of course the ball head can come off and you can put your own on there's that little nut tightening point there hex in there now you'll see that this is not the highest because there's another piece that goes up there it states 61 inches or 153 centimeters now i'm clearly not very tall but i have measured this a number of times trying to get it as extended as possible and this is only getting to 59 inches 149 centimeters there or thereabouts i'm not sure where the extra two inches comes from because that's it i mean if i close it up pop the hook away and do that then it's 61 but surely that doesn't count because you want it like that yeah so that's the first bugbear but look at that it's so light you can just 
pick it up and you're good to go. When I first got it, I thought it is really quite flimsy. I mean, it's only one kilo, but once I had it fully extended in the studio situation, and I had a camera on the top, once I needed to manipulate the camera to demonstrate something, the whole thing just didn't feel sturdy. But I don't think it's designed for that, and I won't be using it in studio any more i'll be using it out and about like this i can plunk it down give it a second to just calm down and i'm away very very handy because look how ridiculously light it is in fact it has a monopod feature which is basically you take this leg off but for me i can just carry it around like this in fact for vloggers it might be a very handy one because it weighs almost nothing because we've constantly said and you can hold it out plunk it down and it'll really just not get in the way especially when you fold it down you can put it in your bag you might not even need to use the carry case and you're good to go these little feet here i wish they were rubber so that on a slippier floor like a studio or a home laminate flooring for example they'd have a bit more staying power i found that a little bit awkward using it indoors of course out and about in a scene like this right now it's no problem one reviewer said that this is built for serious business I'm not convinced at all. It's built for travel, run and gun stuff. Things where you don't have to be too specifically, you know, messing about with it. You can just plunk it down and you're good to go and you can just carry it about. And where you really need to get as compact as possible. As you see, we need to check out how quality control is going. It's not my favorite KNF concept tripod. I use them regularly. I'm using one right now with the T4 on it that's a nice carbon fiber number that i do tend to take about with me a lot but this is smaller lighter obviously more fragile possibly because of that shouldn't be but yeah i also use a different tripod from knf for my indoor stuff and that's been a treat after a lot of use yes the center column piece sort of developed a fault but they replaced that straight away as we mentioned so you know i'm not slating this one off but it's not it's not as good as I hoped, but if you can get a nice little discount on it, check in the description below. We might be able to get a little discount at a KNF for this one. I think it's well worth looking at.